Baba o Baba o Baba o Oluwa da Baba si fua Baba o Baba o Baba o Oluwa da Baba si fua Yeah, it's just to appreciate. It's just to appreciate the man who has started doing. I called him Omenka Horonanya of Nigeria, a queen of Nigeria, chief barista, uh, Alan Onyema. He's a man. I've come, I've, I want to use this to appreciate him. I don't know how to appreciate him, but I just, I just made this t-shirt just to appreciate him as a man who has done what many couldn't do in this country, Nigeria. I appreciate him so much. I know that God will bless him now. My name is uh, Honorable Bakasi Chukudi Okereke from Ehimen Banimo State, Nigeria. I import shoes from Nigeria to South Africa. That's why I sell shoes in South Africa, yeah. Part of my shop was destroyed. In fact, all the things that I've never for, for the past few years just went on to smoke. Three whole wasted years, brother. Very, very 100% going back home, brother. That place is hell on earth. South Africa is hell on earth. I'm glad leaving that country. Honestly, I am very, very glad I can come to my country, join my people, and start off from where I left off some years back, yeah. Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. My name is Kennedy Peter Zahiagwina. I'm from Edo State, but I was born and raised in Lagos State. I'm a mechanical engineer by profession, and that is exactly what I was working in South Africa. So I, we are coming back because of the xenophobic attacks on the foreign nationals in South Africa. And I think I'm very grateful. I would like to give a very big shout out to Epix and its management. And above all, I would like to give glory to God for the journey mercy. And I really want to appreciate all the crew members, most of us who have been in South Africa for years. And uh, we've lost a whole lot of things, valuable things. Uh, most of the things that we've worked for, xenophobic, Xenophobia has elapsed everything and they got burnt. So I'm very, very grateful to be alive and I really appreciate the owner of the S flights for his uh, kind gesture. He single handedly decided to bring most Nigerians out of the xenophobic attack in South Africa. I don't know him from anywhere. I don't know him before. It's my first time of hearing such a gentleman who, um, who has done such a wonderful thing to most of the uh, Nigerians who were trapped in South Africa. I'm still surprised. Where have the likes of Dango Day who've been eating your Indomie and patronizing most of your goods? But I'm glad you've done nothing. Uh, so honestly, I'm really, I really thank God I appreciate him. May God continue to prosper him, guide his family, and protect his business. No respect to you, sir. I love my heart. Thank you, sir. My, uh, my, my name is Olade Atere. I, I really want to thank the AP, APs so much. It, it means a lot to me. I'm absolutely happy. I'm very, very happy because this opportunity, I don't even respect it, but I'm very, very happy. And may God bless him and, and of it in Jesus' name. And in South Africa, I'm doing nails and I'm not going to do air. They really burn my shop in Julius, the Benetton, and the see I'm displaced. So where, where, where will I start from? I got two kids. So I have to go back home because home is home, no matter what. So I have to go back home. So that's it. So may God, may God bless him and, and uplift, uplift him in Jesus' name. That's all. It's not here. It's a long story. It's not here. No, nothing is fine. But now I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm home. Thank you so much. Thank you. What is your name and what you do? Where are you from in Nigeria? What you do in Santa Rita? And how you have been affected by this? 
Okay. My name is Mrs. Vivian Duro. This is Oswan Duro. I'm in Nigeria. I'm coming from Imo States. Okay. So I live in South Africa, Johannesburg. This is uh, 12 years I've been in South Africa. So I have five kids. And uh, the situation of this uh, South African's problem is that affected a lot of people in South Africa. And the worst part of this is that we are all Africans. We united together. But unfortunately, South Africa doesn't want the United, doesn't want the cooperation of Africa. So the battle started since that time. And uh, unfortunately, it was affected a lot of people from other countries, especially specialists, Nigerians. Real, Ni Real Nigerians, they don't want anything about, they don't have anything to do with the Nigerians. They hate Nigerians as if, as if it's like devil. But of all these things, Nigeria keep on pleasing, but still, it was coming worst. Unfortunately, on the second of this month, when this uh, riot started, I was in my shop because I run a salon. I'm a stylist by professional. So when this issue started, they had to run away. When we are running, we enter the park station in Johannesburg. It's a very big park. Everyone run into. When we run into the park station, there is a police station over there. There is a police station over there. We jumped into the police station, so they had to chase everyone out of the police station. So everyone was crying like, what is happening? What is happening? Police, they didn't, they didn't care about any other persons. They just lock up their office and ask us to run away from their office. So we had to run away from the office and start moving away from the police station. So we had to start from there to start running up and down how to escape because it was terrible. It was mess, it was terrible right there. So it was has affected a lot of people upon all the suffering in South Africa being Nigerians. No job, no business. Even when we are trying to do business, police must come. Police must come to arrest. Even when we are trying to do business with South Africans, they will call you very very you foreigners, we don't need you. Unfortunately, if you are not speaking South African language, it's a mess. They can't recognize you as a somebody. So to have affected a lot of people, especially people hungry to see to do their business, genuine business, not that it's not genuine, genuine business, but still, they don't want. So from there, people have to start moving their way to go home. So, by grace of God and by mercy of God upon our nation, Nigeria, we have managed to get a flight ticket free of charge. So a lot of people decided to go back to our country. People are complaining Nigeria is the worst. My brother and my sister just want to say, home is home, no matter as what home is home. Our Nigeria is the best. It's a place you can feel comfortable. Police is not disturbing you. You can't think about any other thing. Just relax to do your business. If the efforts our people, our brothers and sisters put in effort in the business in South Africa, if they put that effort in Nigeria, Nigeria will be the best country so far. Because they have went to hell in South Africa. So to my own advice, I encourage our brothers and sisters to put that much effort in Nigeria, do their business as long as they do genuine business. The way they did it in South Africa, let them continue it. Come back home, forget about proud, and do their business. They will be successful. My name is Wilson Ofo. I'm from Imo State, our local government. I'm staying in South Africa, Johannesburg, for almost eight years. I'm here in Johannesburg. My experience here in Johannesburg is that we are making 
a good business, but South Africans, they don't love us. We put our interest to help them and to succeed, but they don't like us. That's the problem. They are raising to us. But we know this time we are coming back to our country. God will never let us die and God will never fail us. And we are begging on our government. We lost everything we have lived a long time here. Some of them lost their car, some of them lost their children, some of them lost everything that worked for, for more than 20 years. But as we are coming back now, we are going to our father's land. Let our people not let us die. Let them put their own interest to help us. Because we are young ones, we are not stealing, we are not killing. If we are coming back to our father's land, we are doing more things to come. I'm selling clothes. I lost my shop, I lost everything. So I have no job, I have no job in South Africa, so let me come back to my father's land. We are half of my brothers and sisters that we mustn't give up. That if we can be able to make it in another man's land, we can make it in our father's land. That, that our government should not let us, that they should help us. My name is um, Sylvester Tete. I'm from Delta State in Nigeria. And the girl sitting by my side is my, is my first son, whom I also got in South Africa. So um, I, I work, I am working in South Africa. I started as a security in South Africa. And uh, I'm also a pastor. But um, it has been an awesome experience in South Africa. As a matter of fact, South Africa is a, is a place I did to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. I have seen fellow pastors of mine who went to South Africa and went into the drain of the anointing and whatsoever they carried. The, 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 the land of South Africa took them out of the vision and the calling of the Almighty. So, I decided to start um, a small business in South Africa which was also muted by the, the talks and the tips in South Africa in this current xenophobia that just happened. I have my shop in uh, 122 Rose Street. It was tempered and it was muted and everything gone to the drain. So, South Africa is a place which I will not advise anyone to go in 10 years time, in 20 years time. I wouldn't advise anyone to go to South Africa. So I just want to say a, a big thank you. I don't know if it's time for me to say that. A big thank you to uh, Chief Onyema. I call him Chief because he has done a lot for us to do, and decided to bring us. Like what I'm saying, I don't even have my wife. I got married to a Zimbabwean. A Zimbabwean lady who got me this boy and another one for seven months which they are still behind. But I'm making plan to see how I can get them back to Nigeria. They are very, she's very ready to come back with me. It's just that the provision wasn't made for, for her. So that is what I just have to say for now. Thank you very much. Thank you.